All right, folks, Ravi, I and Will, and I am today going to interview uh, one of my friends who I met, who is an entrepreneur, uh, making movements, a man of international acclaim. <laughs> he's in the content game. He's got a bunch of different projects going. He's a network a networker, an events facilitator, brand builder, connector, and all round interesting guy who's been on quite a journey. And today we're going to learn more about him. I'm going to let him introduce himself. I don't think I need to introduce uh, myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was one of the best intros I think I've ever had. You earned it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, my name's Kai Beard, and I'm 25 years old, and I'm from London. Yeah, yeah. And um, I feel like a lot of people commented on that you have a more mature energy and um, a certain level of groundedness because I was surprised to hear that you're 25 and the great thing is you were surprised to hear I'm 31. So. Yeah, no, I did not think that. I thought he was like my age to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. But, Kai, okay, let's, about ages, let's talk to my audience about Kai at 18. Jesus. Kai at 18. What do you want to know? Uh, where was his mind at? What was his... What was his movements. Kaya 18 was very playful, very ambitious, very stupid, very energetic. Um, I, I wanted to be rich and I wanted to be successful and, you know, work for myself and do my own thing. I probably cared too much about what people thought of me. Um, I try to be maybe sometimes something that I'm not. Um, and I, I was running away from myself. Um, that's for sure. Maybe it's, it could be a good argument that maybe I still am, to be fair. But yeah, that was, that was quite 18. I would say quite crazy. I was just off my rocker, to be honest with you. I was just doing crazy stuff. I was here, there, everywhere, and just working a lot. <laughs> That's the thing with a lot of people who are interested who energy, you know, you're going to feel they've been on a journey, they've had challenges, they've had adversity, and that is what makes them great in the end, but it is also something that causes some pain in the interim, and I know for yourself, Kai, 18, to become the man you are right now, a lot happened between 18 and 25, <laughs> you talk to us about some of the challenges that... Oh God, <laughs> some of the challenges, do you know, it's... It's, it's, a, it's an interesting one because it's like right now I'm thinking, all right, I've got to deliver something that's not too, too deep, yeah. but then something that's not too surface. But I guess ultimately the same challenge that everybody faces is themselves. So ultimately my biggest challenge has always been myself and that's the same with anyone and anything that you do, um, no matter what profession that you're in or what goal you're trying to achieve or whatever lifestyle that you're trying to live, the only thing stopping you from achieving that is yourself. Um, and that was my um, biggest problem at, at times. And um, that was my biggest uh, thing that I've had to try and conquer and I'm still trying to conquer. In regards to life events that have happened, um, when I was 19, 20, I became the most, well, I, there's reasons why this happened that were quite traumatic, so to speak, um, but I won't go into that right now, but um, became very depressed, went up to 105 kilo, was very fat, was in a very bad place. Um, I lost my flat, I lost my dog, I lost my car, had no money, got in debt, and um, I had to work my way out of that. And, you know, I put myself in other bad, situations in my life at a young age where I've had to overcome them and you know deal with those responsibilities that come with putting yourself in a shit position and, and work out of it. So there's a lot there that of course you can see your resourcefulness, you can see your ambition, you can see the drive that you have, you can see that you are an action taker, you're ballsy, you know, you come out, you know, we, we, we've been talking for a couple of weeks and like, since your event, of course I saw massive value in that, I'm going to come to them, Thank you I'll be on the next one and be supporting that, uh, and of course, um, just hanging out with you today, we can see that you're an action taker right now, you, 
we, uh, yeah. I'm attending this event. You've made a bunch of connections of like, right, right there and there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's, I, didn't even, I didn't even pay to come to you. Yeah, event. exactly. That's so smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I paid to come here, but you came, you've made connections with people who align with you who are going to be, who live over there, man. So that's, that's yeah, just a testament to your, your, your hustle, right? And I, I, of course, I notice these things and I, I respect that. I, I, I'm willing to continue to build relationships with people who've got the same mentality. Now, with that being said, though, you've come a long way, but what were some of the pivotal moments where you had to check yourself for a minute and say, all right, who do I want to be? I think pivotal moments for myself usually come when I've actually upset people that I care about, to be honest, because I think there's one thing in like fucking up and like maybe like creating some mess in your life and maybe you'll be like, oh my God, I'm really stupid for doing this or how, how could I have ended up in this situation? And those kind of situations are definitely things that make you check yourself and like, all right, cool, I can't be putting myself in a situation like that again or I can't be aimlessly getting with a girl or entering a relationship like that again because of how much it affects your life or I can't be doing something stupid like that again. Um, obviously, I'm being very vague, but it fits most situations. But in terms of pivotal moments in my life where I've had to look at myself on the inside, it's been when I've upset people that I've cared about. It's been when I haven't been the best person that I know that I can be in that moment. And myself personally, I'm not really bothered about upsetting people in general. Like, I don't really give a fuck about what people think. But I do care about how I make people feel. And if I, do, if I upset people or make people feel uh, a type of way through my actions or maybe something I've said that I've not thought about or, you know, something along the lines of that, then those are things that are quite pivotal for me because I question myself. Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did I act in that way? And is that a way that I actually want to be? An example may be, I could be dating someone or going out with someone and maybe I just say something that I just would say because I'm just like whatever I don't I, I'd say what I want I this is how I am and you know I have quite a um, uh, what's what's the word called uh, no filter you like yeah I, I don't have any filter yeah let's, let's just call it that and so sometimes that can upset someone even though I don't mean to and so like I will, this is something that's actually happened recently, so I guess this is why I'm speaking about it, but a pivotal moment for me was like, okay, cool, so what's some of the reasons that I can say some of these things? It's like, all right, cool, tiredness, I'm always mentally tired, so sometimes I don't always think about the things that come out of my mouth, or especially when it comes to being sensitive, I'm not really a sensitive person, and so when I'm dealing with uh, a lady or someone that's close to me that cares for me, Sometimes I may say things that are not sensitive um, and that could be because I'm mentally tired or that could be because maybe I'm quite frustrated and I've been working my ass off, I've not had a lot of sleep. So a pivotal moment for me at the moment is recognising that how I treat myself and um, what I, the amount of pressure that I put myself under, it actually affects the people that I care around me. So to say a pivotal moment would be, okay, cool, I need to look after myself better and deal with myself in better ways and come up with systems where I look after myself because um, my, the pressure that I put on myself affects my mental health, which then affects my mood and how I go about things, which then affects the people around me. See, I appreciate the depth of self-awareness there because we all in this world have areas that we need to develop and we need to focus on. But what I love is when someone has a self-awareness to understand, okay, here are the things that, here are my patterns, here's the things that are stopping me from realizing my full human potential. This is in my current evolution of where I am now, because where you're gonna be in five years is gonna be an entirely different human. Where I am right now, this is where I wanna invest my time and energy and focus. So in this regard, I'm gonna ask you a question, right? and this is gonna be on mindset shifts that you've ingrained. So I'm gonna just give you an example of myself, two big mindset shifts I've made in my life. 
or abundance mentality of seeing life as a numbers game that you just put yourself out there you just take action you want to get somewhere yeah. you've got to put the reps in again and again and again and so that was a big thing for me because i came from a background of a lot of anxiety i shut myself away from the world for many years we're talking about ladies right now i was a guy who didn't do much dating at all i had a low self-esteem and all that sort of shit now to get over those is exposure therapy it was like connecting with women all that sort of thing and i saw it as an abundance mentality and another thing that i ingrained at the same time was just this one philosophy that my mentor Andy taught me, which is you just never give in. You just never fucking give in. To succeed in life, you be relentless and you never give in. And if you stick at it and do the reps for long enough, you're simply gonna succeed. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna ask you, what are some key mindsets that you have? Key mindsets, so I think that you can definitely develop a mindset, that's for sure. Um, if you're someone that doesn't have a um, particularly ambitious, driven, aggressive kind of mindset when it comes to goal oriented things, you can definitely develop that over time. But for my mindset, since I was very young, um, I didn't really, I, f I think it comes from not coming from much. Um, and I always understood that what was going to save well, I didn't always understand this, but from a young age, I came to find out that what was going to save me was myself and becoming successful. And so that very much propelled me to work hard and to try and make something for myself. And my mum said something to me when I was 14, actually, which still sticks with me till this day. And so I remember kids at school, they used to take the piss out of me for the shoes that I was wearing. And I went home and I was like, please, mum, like, can you buy me another pair of trainers? My mum didn't have much money. Um, she had me when she was very young, like, single parent. And so um, she turned around and said, if you fucking want something, you got to fucking earn it yourself. And that has stuck with me till this day. And since I was 14, I've always been working. As soon as I was 16, I was working seven days a week, doing anything I can to graft and to, to make a better life for myself. And... It's just always been very inherent in me. Whatever I've done, I've always worked hard at. I have quite an obsessive personality over things that I enjoy as well. So I think that kind of mixes in with it. And I have like ADHD and a lot of like mental energy as well. So I think that um, a mixture of these things has been something that uh, contributes to my drive and um, you know the question that you asked. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that, man. It's, it's a beautiful moment. And even then, we all have these things that stick with us, that, that raw moment that went into your psyche, that moment where like you have to go earn it. Yeah, that obviously you're young, you're impressionable, and it has an impact. And in your case, you really are grafting like that. You really are applying yourself. You will be successful, right? And you know, uh, I will too. We're going we're gonna to get there, you know what I mean? Absolutely, brother, you know? So what I want to ask you now is let's do some visioning. Okay. So, I want you to just have an image in your mind of yourself in five years from now. Yeah. Yeah? And I, wanna, I want you to express where you're going to be in five years from now. Who is Kai? Kai Bearden is a multi-award winning screenwriter. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> where, where is Kai Bearden in five years' time? Speaking in third person. Kai Beard in five years' time is a emotionally balanced, caring, kind, loving father who is rich, rich, and looks after those people that are close to him and supports his friends, his family, and cares for people when he can. He's an extremely rich and wealthy businessman with multiple businesses over the world that not only solve major issues they also hopefully produce films i do want to make films eventually and he has um he has a lot of freedom he has houses in multiple countries that he travels between sometimes with his family sometimes without and he also makes time to spend with his family and his kids and his loved ones and he enjoys his life in balance he understands that not every day is going to be a good day. He understands that not every day is going to be a bad day. 
he takes steps to make sure that he is mentally, physically, emotionally healthy and for those people around him. It's a beautiful answer. This is the thing, this is what separates mediocre people from those who have greatness inside of them. The clarity, the vision, the, the understanding that more is possible and I think that's what separates people. When you have that fucking clarity, when it gets hard, and I previously asked you a question about this at Eurovid, when it gets hard, when shit is boring, when it's tedious, yeah, when, because you, you, there's going to be a lot of work from now to that. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. But um, you have a vision and you have clarity over your why. And that's just going to crystallize year after year after year because you're going to keep affirming that. And you just being here, you, you running around like sharing your energy, right? All that is is anchoring your, you more deeply in your reality and in your journey. So with that being said, now the final uh, question we're going to have is, but now we've introduced you and now people understand a little bit more about Kai Beard. Yeah. How can they follow the journey? How, like, how can they uh, learn to work with you? Talk to us about um, how people can find you, connect with you. and um, You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok at Kai Beard. You can message me. You can also contact my company, Beardo Media. Um, you can email, WhatsApp, call. So I'll be at that networking event. I'll be vlogging it. We'll interview Kai then. And we'll, um, he's going to deliver an excellent event. He absolutely is. And he's going to be doing loads of really great networking events. And in the next t two years, he's going to become uh, the top 5% in his industry because he's going he's gonna to keep hustling. He's going to keep pushing forward so um, we can have Kai on again maybe in a couple months time and we can see where he is then and follow his journey so I'll drop his socials below and you can go ahead and um, connect with him otherwise uh, I'm going to thank Kai for your time today bro thank you, really appreciate it, I yeah. appreciate it yeah. and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, I'm going to make a vlog when I'm at his event and then we're going to we're going to continue to follow his journey from there all right I'm will try Ravi Connecting with um, some, some of the movers and shakers and people who are also inspired and goals driven individuals who want to really go out there and perform. I hope you can feed off Kai's energy. I hope you can feel inspired by this man's drive and his energy. And of course, um, if you are in London or in the UK, generally speaking, or if you're just really inspired by having heard this, come connect with Kai, join the movement. And let's, let's win together. I like that. Please. Connect, connect with Kai. That could be a name for something. I like that. We're going to put that on a t shirt, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Peace out, guys.